Welcome to our paper flick on our recent work published in Cell on ligand-dependent modulation of G-protein conformation alters drug efficacy. We're from the Drug Discovery Biology theme in the Monash Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences. The observation that different agonists acting at the same receptor could promote different magnitudes of cellular response gave rise to the concept of agonist efficacy. Differential efficacy is now an important consideration in the drug discovery pipeline. Different stimuli acting at the same receptor can act to activate alternative cellular pathways, a phenomenon known as biased agonism. Biased agonism is being actively pursued by pharmaceutical companies to try and mitigate on-target side effects. And our work elaborates the mechanistic framework with which to do this. Cells sense stimuli such as light, smells and chemical signals through a range of specialised proteins called receptors. The largest family of these are G-protein coupled receptors, or GPCRs. Receptors were originally thought of as on-off switches, and that the level of response came from the number of these receptors that were switched on. Subsequently, it became evident that different stimuli acting at the same receptor do not necessarily produce the same cellular response. Some have greater efficacy than others. In the last 10 years, there has been accumulating evidence that for a range of G-protein coupled receptors, this textured response is due to differential conformational stabilisation of the receptor by different ligands through the dynamic nature of GPCRs. GPCRs are able to explore a range of conformational space. When a stimulating ligand arrives, there is conformational selection of the receptor depending on which ligand binds. In the current model for differential efficacy, the ligand-induced receptor conformations have divergent affinities for the downstream effector, in this case, a G-protein. As a result of these divergent affinities, the magnitude of the cellular response differs according to the stimulating ligand. In the last year or so, it has been proposed that G-proteins themselves are conformationally dynamic. For the calcitonin receptor, a class B GPCR, we observed that the endogenous ligand, human calcitonin, had lower affinity than the clinical agonist, salmon calcitonin. But both ligands could stimulate the same magnitude of cellular response. This made us wonder how human calcitonin was able to elicit such a strong cellular response. We were able to measure a difference in the conformation of the effector depending on the bound ligand. These alternative effector conformations lead to divergent activation rate and using total internal reflection microscopy, we could see that the rate at which the G protein left the receptor was faster in the presence of human calcitonin. Using live cell sensors, we saw that although human calcitonin had low affinity, the rate at which the downstream messenger, cyclic AMP, accumulated was much faster, providing the cellular mechanism for its high efficacy. Our work represents a major paradigm shift in how agonist efficacy at GPCRs is viewed. Moving from one control by conformational change at the level of receptor, driving efficiency of effector coupling, to one involving ligand-specific alterations to the conformation of the effector protein. In addition to evolving our understanding of the mechanistic basis for GPCR agonist efficacy, the work also has significant implications for the concept of biased agonism, providing additional mechanistic insight into how biased agonism can arise to conformationally driven efficacy change at the level of an individual G protein.